and we are finally here. Superior fireworks, folks. It's been a long time in coming to be here. No, we did not drive from North Dakota. I know it's black, but this is a GMC. I didn't drive a GMC all the way from North Dakota. No, definitely <laughs> not. So, uh, we came down here for their demo and to meet them and just kind of go over some stuff with them. But we've been buying product from them for a very long time now. So, we're gonna go inside, meet these guys, get you guys a store walkthrough. Um, from pictures that I've seen in the past, it's very nice inside. So it's a new location, so yep. we'll definitely see what they have in store. Yeah, get you guys maybe a little interview with these guys, talk about what they offer and stuff, and uh, yeah, we'll see you inside. All right, guys, we're headed in. Um, this is kind of special. This is probably, other than Red Apple, the place that I've been ordering from the longest. So to get to go to both these places within two weeks after not being with them in five years, it's been <laughs> fun. Yeah, why not? Let's see this. Wow. Dude looks brand new in here. Yes. Hey. Hey guys. How's it going, Josh? Yeah, good to see you. Nice to finally meet you. Welcome in. Thank you. So this is this is the place. It is. Okay. Yeah. It's where the magic happens. So this Very is much. the retail side of it, right? It is. Yeah. I'm okay. In this side, you know, about five thousand square feet of retail, right? So. It's uh, this, this is a uh, slow this time of year, but very, very, very busy right before the 4th of July. I New can Year's. imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so 5,000 square feet of retail, you can about imagine how many fireworks you can fit in a 5,000 square foot area. Yeah, it takes a couple containers just to stock this space, wow. um, you know, once, right? And obviously, you know, over the course of the season, we'll do that a couple of times. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, it stays, stays full awesome. where we can. So, but we're leaving some space right now for new stuff coming in. Um, yeah, so okay. we, uh, yeah, once we come off of one season, we know we've got new stuff coming in. Usually we'll leave spots for what's coming next. So we don't have to shuffle too much in the off season, but awesome. Uh, so you know what that means is I would watch their website to see what new products are dropping when that's exactly right. Yeah. So as soon as they land, we'll get them in the store and on the retail website for people who want to come and pick them up here. Cool. So, yeah. So, yeah. So maybe we'll start right here. It looks like we got some, yeah. I mean, Gender reveal stuff, you gotta have it, right? Yeah, this time of year, we like to keep some gender reveal stuff out. Yeah. That's a lot of what people are coming to off season. Um, Must be a little fountain pack. That's right, that's one of the really popular ones for us, actually. I mean, it's, you know, 13, 14 bucks, right? Yeah. It's, it's a good set, really solid. Okay. They each last about a minute, some of that. Um, and aisle one here is really novelties, fountains, and assortments. Okay. Uh, so kind of all the stuff you need to kind of have a family style celebration. It's quite a few sparklers for like seven dollars. Little zippers, like always. I mean, you always got to have these around, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> smoke balls, big smoke bombs. Yeah, the aerial spinners, which actually yep. these are really some of the best that we have. The space capsules. Okay. Uh, they perform really well. They go pretty high, and they're consistent. Sometimes with those kinds of spinners, they don't always go straight up. Yeah. Down. Put it down. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, these these we sell like by the armful, you know. And I bet. And people come through and every kid wants one, right? You see them in the store like fighting with them in the shopping carts, you know. <laughs> I bet. So those are always good. That's way cool. Yep. The little miniature snow cones. Yeah. These are these are popular. I saw the big they snow are. cones have kind of faded, but the little ones are around a lot. I tell you, the big snow cones are still popular for us. Are we, they? Yeah. Okay. When, when we have them right now, we're out. But the uh, but yeah, we usually like to <laughs> stock heavy as as heavily on them as we can. That's uh. That's, that's a cool looking fountain. Yeah, so um, yeah, our biggest one over here probably is this behemoth, which it's one of those that lasts, I don't know, probably a minute and a half, something like that. Okay. It just, it gets really tall at the end. World's highest is another one that gets super tall. I actually like this American's fountain a lot. It's red, white, and blue, but it's got that flame drop with it. It's like a red and blue flame drop with okay. a silver star. So, it, or not a silver star, a silver spark. It's, uh, it's quieter. You know, so yep. a lot of people like a quiet fountain. A little more neighborhood of, friendly. Yeah, and a little more vivid on the color too. So that's one of okay. those things. Cool. So, and then we. And uh, then it's purplicious. We shot these yes. last year in all the shows, actually. Yes. Cool. And that one's really nice too. Yeah, we have a handful of stuff by Brothers. We usually kind of pick sort of uh, best ofs, you know, with some of the yeah. brands that we carry. So that's one that we like to keep over here for sure. And of course, Let's go down. Hey. Super snaps, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't you can't live without super snaps. That's right. What was that? Might as well go down all the assortments. Yeah. I mean, you guys have 10, 15 assortments probably? Yeah, we try to have a 
decent variety, you know, hit different price points for people with their budget, kind of give you an easy grab and go. Yep. Uh, so we kind of... It's a little bag here for 25 bucks, and that's easy as you get, right? Yeah, bags are always popular with kids. Um, yep. And, you know, the little, like, killer values, just little small stuff, you know, people do on the end of the driveway kind of thing. Yep. Um, all the way up to things that are mostly aerials, you know, um, bigger artillery shell kits and repeaters, things like that. How about this thing? I mean, look at the size of this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I am six foot two, so that's that's huge. That's a big assortment. I mean, you get a full twenty four kit of canister shells and everything. That's right. That's awesome. Yeah, that's 8, a whole thousand grams. I mean, you could literally walk in by that and you're done shopping. For you. Yes, and that's what some people do. They come in and say, "I want that one," and so we bring them one out of the back, we put it in their car, and they're off, on their way. That's awesome. I mean, that's about as simple as it gets for yeah, shopping, yeah, right? Yeah. So even if you hate shopping, don't send your wife. Just come with, carry that out, and you're done. She might fret upon that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so then we, like we got get rockets. Uh, rockets, roaming candles, firecrackers. Well, that's a little safety shooter tube for the uh, the smaller rockets. Uh, so, oh, that is that's is not a roaming candle. Yeah, it's just pop it in the ground. Definitely pick one of these up. Don't send it through your neighbor's house. Yeah. <laughs> uh, firecrackers all the way up to the big sixteen thousand rolls. You know, that's a lot of firecrackers. Yeah, when you you really want to have a party. Yeah, we and that's actually a really good price. I have seen like in other places these where they have the sixteen thousand rolls yeah. for like 200, 250 bucks. So sixteen thousand firecrackers for one hundred eleven dollars. That's pretty cheap actually. Yeah, we try to set our pricing where it's just a pretty reasonable price to be yep. honest. Like they're our big competition in town. The other sort of national chains they set their prices way up here and then they give you deals to you know come off of that and usually they're like half off price and our <laughs> normal price you know we're usually still cheaper and then we have our sales you know when we do things before the fourth of july and it just kind of makes it a no-brainer we, we just we try to be real straightforward with it we don't like to be gimmicky with things and just offer good value where we can which is the best way to be in that i think so it's, so. it's straightforward we don't want it to be super salesy high pressure marketing like do it now 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 it's just not our personality so I love it we try to just be I don't know regular folks <laughs> I love it you guys should recognize these I mean if you guys watch Cody's channel um, we obviously did this before King of Boom came around but we did 450,000 shots of this on New Year's Eve and this was yeah. the one yeah um, you guys sent yeah. those out to us and I tell you what that was an incredible project to be a part of that so. was awesome to watch out all came together <laughs> a lot of work <laughs> it was an insane amount of work you know ben and i we were talking about you know the fusing that goes in this the other day and you know taking all these apart undoing all the fuses yeah. and then running that sticky match and you know zip tying it to this that many times i love doing it i will do it again and again in fact we're, we're gonna have some special stuff coming on the channel where we do some crazy stuff like that but it is a insane amount of work it is it is that. yeah but you know for most people you're just like Stick it in the ground, light one, sit back yeah. and enjoy the show. So. And it's actually a really good yeah. firework to even just do that with. Yeah. Yeah, well, the same thing goes for like the glitter barrage ones, right? Mm hmm. Um, have you used these in shows? I have one time. One time yeah. I used them. These can be really popular as a low level effect. You yep. get some other stuff going over top just because it's got that just nice soft glitter and it sort of just fills that bottom part of your sky and then you can have other stuff going over top. Or just yep. as a segment by himself, you know, you got the red, green, gold. Um, combo there that you can take advantage of. So those are really popular too. I'm actually gonna be honest, and this isn't a knock at all. I I quit using these in shows because this fuse was, it's super thin because it's a Roman candle thing, so right. it's hard to light. Right. But there are many ways that you can get around that. And we're gonna touch on that in the future more on the channel, but you can lead this with even the green Visco fuse. That lights a lot easier, just tape it to it. And then you can start using these in shows again, and they work great and they're super cost effective to use in shows. They are. As that, you know, fill the whole sky from the ground up mm -hmm. effect sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, because you used to have people who would build their own kind of Roman candle barrages and stuff, you know, with smaller candles, but getting up into these larger, it saves you work on that front because it's all internally sure. fused. And so. you can, everybody's like, oh, well, you could just fuse these up. Don't forget, fuse costs you money. When you Tough. fan these things out and you're paying 20 bucks a roll for a roll of fuse and you have to get three feet of it, don't forget to add that up. That costs money when you have to fuse these up. So just go with something like that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. and of course the value of your time. And Fuses are to get right now. That's the other piece. Sure. Right. So, if you can get it. This one's actually a really unique Roman candle because it's comets. Uh, and so you get kind of a nice star with the Oh, it's tail. really cool. Yeah, as it goes. So different color on that and including a glitter. 
So yeah, nice tails on yes. those. That's, a, actually really that's a pretty bad. unique one. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money on comets or mines in your show and single shots and using, you know, 10 cues for 10 comets that you want in 15 seconds, you could just run something like this and have your green comet yeah. right there that you could fuse together on one cue. Yep. Um, and that might be a time worth, worth you know, using fuse on because um, you don't have the firing system. So that's actually really cool that you guys have those. Yeah. Nice. Rockets, rockets now. Oh yeah, rockets. So some of our favorites, we got some new, newer ones in the last year this plasma rings those are nice, really nice yeah nice ring effect those i love seeing those in the shows that you guys did yeah uh where you just shot a whole bunch of them off at once that was very nice they were very impressive actually especially for their size yeah. very happy with how that turned out yeah howler rockets that's the other new one we came out with that same year howler uh, so rockets. basically the same uh effect that we have in the wolf howling to uh, yep. okay that basically on a rocket stick. Oh, you know? really? Because they're essentially just a rocket motor anyway, just firing out on the repeater. So yep. an individual shot version of that. That's cool, considering that I think we run that cake in every single show we yeah. have now. It's impressive. It is very impressive. Now, so that's advantage, awesome. The advantage of the cake, of course, is you're getting 25 shots in like five seconds, right? For sure. You're not getting that here, but you know, on an individual shot. Well, basis. let's be honest, you can go and light these off in a minute. Yeah. For two minutes instead yeah. of 25 seconds. Little accent piece instead of a whole big segment. Yeah. yeah. So, and then a lot of the other, you know, we've got smaller rockets up to bigger rockets, a lot of variety there. Um, Traditional like Texas pop rockets, yeah, stuff little like glittering that. rockets, butterflies, all that kind of stuff. Yep. Um, and I don't know if you want to touch on this side here, but yeah. this, is, this over here is all, we call it our feature wall. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of where we put everything that is either new or really popular or things that we want to just kind of draw attention to. So if somebody's coming in the store and they don't know where to start, this is kind of a good place. Uh, it's got a little bit of all of our most popular stuff. Um, so if you're just coming in and saying, hey, I'm going to grab a few things and head out, this is you it. can do it all right here. <laughs> what I love that you guys say about this being your most popular stuff, this is literally, a, we had every single one of these, except for the canister shows were not in when I ordered with you guys last year, yeah. these two. But every single one of these cakes we used last year in all of the shows. I mean, they are great and we're probably buying them again this year, a majority of them. Um, right here, this Bold City, I wanna point this out. Ben, I know this is also like, probably your favorite cake. I love this cake, this cake is awesome. It's, I, I've never seen a blue out. quite that vibrant. Yeah, well, you know, the fun backstory on this, so Bold City, is kind of a nickname for the city of Jacksonville. Okay. This was the first item that we did the full design of the performance in-house on. And so the blue was kind of intended to be a little bit of a teal, which is kind of a nod to the Jaguars, you know, hometown kind of thing. Uh -huh. So so this one in the background here is, you know, you got kind of Main Street Bridge and some of the downtown skyline. So that's actually what's going on with that one. So this was our, our first fully in-house design. We've done a lot more since then, but that's kind of where it started, so. Please don't change it because no, that's one not, of our favorites. Not. No, we love that one. That blue, and then I, I've done where we do two positions of it. And so you kind of get that yes. W with them coming up and it's absolutely gorgeous. Literally one of our favorites in this house. And you guys nailed it on that. I did not know that that was your first one. It was. So you guys nailed it on the first one. Yeah. <laughs> Chaos Theory, I think I've used that thing for like three, four years now. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Works great to run that under the helmet. Yeah, that's that's actually a really cool idea. Yep. Yeah, because the howlers give you so much more height. Yeah. Right, you can go right up top of those. And it's a little bit different pitch, so you get multiple sounds, and you're like, which ah, one's coming from what? If you're not, if you're the crowd and you don't know. True. I didn't think about that. That's nice. Yeah. It's creative. So these are brand new. I've never seen these. I haven't got two these. These were in last year late, right? Last year, yeah, they came in. Um, this has been very popular. This is another one where it's kind of in-house design completely on the okay. shell effects that went into this kit. Packaging um, is awesome on that. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, our designer in-house, she does, she has an awesome job. Yeah. Um, so shout out to Caitlin there. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's been incredibly popular. It's very unique too, because it's a three-stage effect because you get that. Every single one of them has some kind of a tail uh, to that really vibrant color break to some kind of an after effect, whether that's glitter or a lace. Okay. Uh, so all of them have all three sets of that. Nice. Um, yeah, very popular. That's item. cool. And when I say late, we order pretty early wholesale from you guys. So it was in the store last year for the 4th of July. It was late for me to order. 
to get all this in so we can start building the show. Right. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to clarify that. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, a lot of stuff does come in late, though. So, you know, we control as much of that as we can, but sometimes, you know, things will end up in the store, but that aren't available to wholesale people. And then we'll end up the following season, because wholesale season press really starts in February, you know, for the 4th of July every yep. year. So sometimes we'll have things that are listed as new that really were late arrivals from the prior season, because people didn't get to see those yet, you know, yeah. when they were shopping. So it's new to them. Yep. Um, so, yeah, and the Power Pack is another one of those that we did that was new. Uh, last year uh, where we did the combo set actually where it's got samples of shells from four of our other SFX shell kits and we were able to introduce that in this newer compact packaging that we're doing with our artillery shells now uh, so, so you got cool. 30 shells in this and it weighs a ton <laughs> dude that is so cool so a lot of things about this actually. Number one, this has 30 shells. You would never guess that has 30 shells when right. you compare that to a traditional box. Um, love the packaging on that. But if you're walking down the aisle, I know some canister shells are over here, we haven't been over there yet. If you're walking yeah. down the aisle and you're like, man, which set do I get? Do I get this one? Do I get that one? Do I get this one? You just can't decide. Grab that, you get them all. You do. That's really cool. Yeah, some of the most popular ones. Yep. And how about this? Probably greatest assortment. I mean, even Cody B says this is the best assortment he's ever shot. Oh yeah very popular and you know it's one of those things where a lot of assortments have filler kind of items in them to help get your piece counts up you know a lot of people look for that number yep. uh this one has no filler <laughs> it's all <laughs> you know some of our most popular 200 grams the founder set which is already by itself very popular uh and then just quality shells in it as well so there's really everything in it is good right so it's all just a good you talk about a grab and go right yeah and that right there you can do it and i never expected these particular fireworks to be an assortment you know typically assortments you're getting little stuff right. like this like one of these boxes thrown in a gap or something just to fill it up they're claiming there's more in it then and it's a bunch of crap usually when and i've shot all these fireworks separate prior to that right but when cody and i took this out i was like oh you bought the gun deck because I buy things by the case. I tip from you guys. I don't typically buy the assortments, right? right? So the first time I saw this, we're getting this assortment out, and I'm like, holy cow, that's that's an assortment. Mm -hmm. And the cool part about this, they hit a, these, this founder set yeah. hits about like a 500 gram cake. They almost. do. I mean, I see some labeled 500 gram cakes that don't shoot that well. Yeah. So you're getting this 350 gram cake, technically. Mm -hmm. That's almost like a 500 gram cake with 60 gram cans in it. In one of these, it's awesome. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And even for people who do buy, shop by the case, this is, you know, one case of that item. So for people okay. who are on a little more of a budget who are doing that kind of buying, uh, you can get a lot of variety in one case. Uh, That's a, so that would work buy. really well, actually, yeah. with some of the other assortments like the Immortals that you guys have, mm -hmm. and stuff, or the Apollo. So you're getting that variety while still still buying by the case. Yeah, a lot of And meeting that $1,000 threshold. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. So that's that, yeah. You wanna take a look at artillery? Yeah, of course. That's my favorite thing in the world is artillery. <laughs> okay. So, so yeah, we've got small to big, uh, pretty gun. much whatever you would want. Yeah, long gun. These 1990, this is retail? That's retail. Zoom in on that. You don't see a lot of $20 canister shells that are 60 grams for 20 bucks. And this one, we put a lot of attention into the packaging, really. I know we've, we've got some of that emphasis on some of our other items, but with this, you know, the long gun shells are part of the gun deck set, and they're in that more traditional 12 pack, just because of the space they have to fill in the box over there. But when we do them individually, we had it designed with this really compact kind of clamshell plastic packaging that keeps it really tight. We get eight of these actually in a case where most of these are gonna be like six. Okay, um, which so basically saves you money on shipping and also the packaging itself, That's exactly relaying it. it to the customer. It's cheaper all the way through on that side of it because yeah, I mean a, a significant portion of the product cost does end up being in the shipping, which is really directly sure. a function of how much space a product takes up on that container. So the tighter we can make stuff, the cheaper it can be. Which makes sense. Yeah. I wish, I really want like, I know Cody brings it up a lot. I haven't brought it up a lot up on the channel. Is quit thinking that just because it's bigger in fireworks doesn't mean it's better. Just because it's heavier doesn't mean it's better. Let's be honest, there is a lot of scams in this industry where people just fill a lot of stuff up. I mean, hate to call anyone out on this, but I mean, look at the difference here. This is a 12 shot artillery. This is a 12 shot artillery. Look at the height difference here, okay? That's all air. That's one prime example. So just because the box is bigger doesn't mean you're getting more bang for your buck by any means. And speaking of which, these are real ball shells. Yeah. Very, very good artillery shells, true ball shells, perfect breaks every time. Right there. 
I think I've ordered four or five. One year I ordered like five cases of those. They're I solid. Think. They have yeah. really nice tails on them. Very nice. Um, traditional American Chief by Brothers. That's very common. So it looks like you have six packs over here and 24 kits over there. Correct? Yeah, we kind of step up as we go into the larger size kits. So we start with the sixes and then we work our way into the twelves. And this is one of those areas where once we get to 12, we can start doing some of that more compact packaging okay. that we've started doing. So when you get to heavy ordnance over here, this is actually our first 12, even though the box itself isn't that much bigger than the sixes. It's a little deeper, but that's because on these, and yeah, see if I can open one up and show you the, the way we do it. They kind of slide in there next to each other. Okay. So yeah. go ahead and just open that guy up. All right. So. Oh yeah. Got that going on. So they sit in there really tight. Where normally you would have a, this part of the package would be full width, and you'd have a tube sitting right, right in the middle of it. Right. So we get two tubes basically in that yep. same space. And then the next one has to sit offset, so it's this wide, and then there's two rows of it, so it's this tall. Exactly. So we end up saving at least twenty percent on the packaging space, up to about thirty, depending oh, wow. depending on which one we were cutting down. So we and, did this on quite a few. And that really relates to when it's Fourth of July. This place is packed. You can put more on the shelf, so that's yes. less times you have to stock the shelf, that's requiring less labor. So it literally just translates all the way down the line into yeah. more efficiency. It does. It helps a lot. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, look at this. This is a 24 kit. Right. That is ridiculous how small that is. If you compare that to a six pack, how many of you guys ever seen a 24 kit that was that little? I mean, that's not that much bigger than a six pack. Right. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. That is way cool. No, yeah. you yeah, no. got to give credit to, to, to Matt here for coming up with that because the it, there were a lot of places that were looking to do a more compact design for their artillery shells because it's a big area. It's a super popular product category. It takes a lot of space on shipping containers. When shipping prices were going through the roof a couple of years ago, yep. everybody was looking for ways to save space and save money. And so there were different solutions for trying to cut down space on this, but this was something that he came up with here and sent off to the our manufacturing partners and said, hey, this is the way we think we want to do it and got it done that way. So it's way cool. Uh, so yeah, so if you see that somewhere else, uh, it was here first. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Um, this one is the long version of like a normal 24 kit, but it's way yep. narrower. So that's how you guys saved on this one. Yeah, and this one will eventually probably cut down to be more like what this one is. It's just this production run was done before we started doing these. Okay. So we've got another one, the UXO down on the other end is still this tall style as well. So we're yep. not working through that. I mean, this is even a, a five inch shell. Yep. And it's still super, that box is super small. And what I love is you guys don't have these giant seven inch shells that are all air. You guys got fours, fives, and then you do have one six inch shell, but it is a double brake shell. Right. So you don't even have any six inch regular shells where there's literally that much air, it's a scam. It's just fours and fives, and then a double brake six. Yeah, we want the size of the canister to be justified by the effect inside of it. So like even with the fives, some there are some types of effects that do benefit from having that little extra space. Yep. Um, like you guys have a horsetail in the brake. Exactly. Right. And those horsetail stars are bigger. Yep. Uh, so you you do get some effects that really need it. And you, you know Manhattan Project that was our first five inch kit. We that was kind of when people were really pushing for fives, but most of the five inch shells that had just come out on the market were just basically four inch shells put into a five inch can. You know, and so it was like, well. We didn't want to be in that space. That's not really how we wanted to do it. So we kind of yep. worked with uh, with uh, the factories that we were working with on the shell kit design and said, hey, you know, we're looking for basically ways to do this where it makes sense. Like, let's find the effects where it really matters. And then that's how we came up with this kit. So awesome. yeah, all the effects in that are really solid. Awesome. It's a nice kit. <clears throat> and then on this side, just touching up, this is kind of the ball shells. Yep. And the miniature artillery shells. <laughs> the, the mini mags over <laughs> the here. Mini ma those and then these right here, these two. Like I want to point these out. Look at these. You get 12 brakes for 25 bucks. For $25, you are going to have a lot of fun. Okay, maybe they're not a 60 gram can, yep. but dropping these in are a lot of fun to extend the time on the 4th of July. And something like this for $8, I mean, you can light a lot of Oh yeah. It's, it's a lot of fuses fun. and light. It's a lot of fun on the 4th of July. Yeah, and those mini bags have a nice little pop too. They'll surprise you. <laughs> I don't doubt that. I mean, what do you think about it? Some 200 gram cakes are really nice. Yeah. And that's the bore size of what some of these 200 gram cakes are. So you can just about picture this is the shell that would be in like a two or 300 gram cake right. that you're lighting individually. So yeah. very nice, probably breaks still within that. They are. We'll probably be getting these into demo. We can make that happen. <laughs> 
And obviously the big assortment of... Yes, yes, right. For people who want a little bit of everything, yep. those have a little bit of everything. <laughs> Personal opinion, don't waste your money. <laughs> get some of the actual ball shells that I pointed out at the beginning on the front over there. Yeah. And then get some cans. You'll be way happier with Those do give you better value for sure. Yeah. Uh, when you get to those bigger boxes, it's just it's more expensive. Yep. Um, and then we have all the repeaters. Okay, uh, so traditional center missile batteries. Yep. Right? Yep, and this is the new style that got to shrink down. So there was a rule change. These things used to be like this big, they but were huge. they were so, but uh, now we can do these without all the spacing between the, the shots. So it nice. comes way down in price. Um, so that was a big win. For sure. So all the missiles, yep. And then we have some of our multi-pack sets of these. So we do like to do some of that as well. Whether this is retail or wholesale, I want to point these out. So. These are going to be demoed tomorrow, I believe, when we were on the phone we were talking about. You guys are going to be demoing these at the demo. And from the videos I've seen for their size, I was actually, the videos, I've watched the videos on them. I was expecting them to be a little bigger. They look like they hit very nice for their size. They do. Um, and these, I've shot these, have not, these are new. Those, yeah. I haven't got to shoot these. Um, you know, these come four of these three packs wholesale. So you're getting four of every single one of these. If you're doing a multi-position show, it's as cheap as you get. And even retail to purchase these, that's a lot of bang for your buck. Yeah, well the nice thing about the Patriotic Medley set in particular is that they all they all have the exact same shot casing. Okay. So the pattern to them is all the same. So you can shoot them at the same time and they're all gonna time out. Very nice. similar. Yeah. ZPK, we've shot this one already on the channel a couple of times. That one, that was fun. It's a lot of fun. That one's one of my favorites. Yeah. Like when we, the, the hardest thing for that one was coming up with a name for it. Like we had the effect and we thought, this is hilarious. We love this. It makes us smile every time we watch it. We've uh -huh. got to figure out the right name for it. So we worked on that and worked on that and worked on that. And then finally I came up with Zippy Kaye and just, I we think nailed it. Yeah, we, we, I mean, it was, it's a diehard reference, right? Yeah. But you know, it's, it's what we came up with. <laughs> it fits perfect. These, I've seen the video on, we got to get yes. these. These look awesome. They're nice. Very nice. Yeah. Bling bling, I mean, that's about as traditional of a cake as you can find it on is. a shelf. You right? gotta have that. Yep. Well, Glory, we've shot these before, Ember Waves. Like most of these 200 grams, we've all shot on the channel or used in shows. I bet I use every one of these in a show. Um, probably my absolute favorite one you guys carry of a 200 gram. I love American Heartland. The effect on that is very nice. Agreed. Super pretty. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the Immortals set, one of those cakes actually has an effect in it that matches this. So you could run in Immortals right over top. And it looks awesome. Uh, yeah, that's a nice way to do it. And that's yeah. something I hadn't really thought of before with a pairing on this one, but that would be a great way to do it. For sure. And I'm gonna, so not having got to shoot this tight heating well with Comet, um, probably match up well with Cold Rush, huh? I think it'd be perfect, honestly. Yeah, yeah the height and the fact that you've got, I mean, obviously they're all gold, right? Yeah. a nice little 200 gram gold set. For sure. <laughs> and then looks like 350, 500 grams on this side? Yeah, we start working our way into 500 grams here. Just okay, so no, those are 500 grams, sorry. Yeah, they, uh, but it's got, those are on the smaller side. So not everybody labels their 350s as 350s. Um, <laughs> which realistically, it's not a it's not a regulatory category. Anything that has more than 200 grams in it is regulated by the 500 gram rules. Okay. And so they'll put that 500 gram on there because it's in that space, even though it may not be a full 500 grams of, Makes of powder, sense. right? So we've sort of started taking some of our <laughs> smaller items in that category and putting them in as a 350 just the way we list them on our website for sale just to help people understand what they're getting yep but it's it's not a it's not a legal category so you know putting 500 gram on it isn't wrong wrong but it's not always telling the consumer exactly what to expect. <laughs> for <laughs> so, sure. But we keep it over here, you know, and the 20 whatever dollar 30 dollar price tag on it. Which I is think, fair. At least you don't yeah. try to charge 500 grand. No, prices, we don't. Right? right. I want to point this one out. I um, shot this one last year and like you were just saying, sometimes you get a nine shot that's insane. Sometimes you get a nine shot that's not as good. This one, the price really reflects, but it's still a really nice, perfectly right. symmetrically broken What's 500 that? gram cake that's a nine shot. It doesn't cost you as much as a no app. Same with this Majestic Brocade. It's a two inch brocade, mm -hmm. it, perfect symmetrical breaks. I mean, they're gorgeous. You get higher than your average 500 gram cake still. Yeah. Um, but you're not paying no app price. That's true. Yeah, that one's a ball shell. Yeah. Uh, so not all of these are, but that one is, which get, helps that symmetrical, you know, quality that you like to see in them and gets it a little more comparable into the performance that, you know, we're we're trying to position that one as being sort of a cheaper alternative to that bigger nine shot rack version of it, right? So we yep. want it to hold up. Not as big, of course, because, you know, for the money you would expect that, but uh, but still really nice. Agreed. And actually, I didn't think retail for that cake is perfectly reasonable. That's, that's a very nice cake. I mean, every time I order from you, there's cases of this on there, every single time. 
And they offer this exact firework in a three inch and you run this one under the three, looks amazing. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice set. For sure. This is a heck of a cake too. Yeah. It, it may is. not be your in-house brand, but that's a heck of a cake. It is, <laughs> it is. And then this looks like, this is where all the big boy stuff is. It is, yeah, we sort of, this aisle, you start getting into our largest 500 grams, uh, the zippers, the no abs, the box sets that we sell at retail. Okay. Uh, so it's a, there's a lot of variety on this aisle, <laughs> which can make it a little overwhelming sometimes for people, but that's one of the big advantages, the way we do with the QR codes on everything. Yep. And, and actually, I don't know if I've showed you this, but you can actually walk up with your phone on a lot of these and you just put it on here and, Oh man, it's not gonna do it now that I want it to. There it goes. <clears throat> Boom. So, just pull up the video. Super simple, just like that. Oh, that's way cool. You don't even have to scan the QR code. You, just you don't have to. to it. Depends on your phone, but it's a, it's all NFC driven. So when you scan it and it pops right up. That's really, really nice. So cool. So with that being, you know, speaking of that kind of stuff, you guys got TV stuff here going. Yep. With the product that is below it you know yep. and other products running on it other than just being able to see the firework it's kind of cool because walking through here you're hearing all these fireworks go off and it kind of gets in the mood like you're looking at fireworks you're hearing them it's like let's go shoot some fireworks you yeah know? you're ready to go yeah so we got we got everything to set in the mood for you for sure this is a gore i tell you what love these obviously um these are absolutely stunning you guys did awesome on yes them. yes that's one of my favorites and I like to take credit for that one because yeah. I've been asking for a nice sort of waterfall type falling leaves kind of thing. And when we finally came out with it, I was like, yes, that's exactly what we need. <laughs> awesome. I remember when I went through the website and, you know, I, I, I check your guys' website every now and then just because yep. you never know when you drop a new product. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this one's new. And I clicked on it and I was like, yeah, I think it's going to be about three, four or five cases. Oh, yeah. That coming. <laughs> it's really unique. It's really pretty. It's a nice, it's a soft effect. It's just different from a lot of the other stuff that we have, you know? So exactly. we don't have a ton of product that works well, like a down point of a pyro musical. That's something we're kind of work, is it working on. <laughs> we're aware of that. Uh, but, uh, but this is one that does really well. Well, and one thing that a lot of, even consumers, like retail, yeah. they walk in here, you see traditionally everybody wants the biggest, loudest thing on the sure. block, right? right. But uh, the flip side of being the biggest, loudest, there's also the most unique. And I have found a lot of times, even before we started shooting shows or even in shows, and Ben, you can test to this too, we'll get comments on people come up after the show like, man, that was that part was so, you know, cool, it was so loud, it was awesome. But then you get a lot of that like, what did you run? That was so pretty, I'd never seen that before, right? Yep. And it's this style of a cake that a lot of times will get you that comment, whether you're sitting out on the driveway with your family or you're doing a show. Yep. Well, and that's, and that's one of the things we like when we see videos that people, where they put together shows that use our product and we can immediately say, oh, that was this item, that was this item. They don't all look the same. You do have stuff that's very unique and different. It stands out in the middle of a lot of other stuff going on. Yep. I think Bold City actually is one of the best examples of that. You see those blue stars coming up out of that in those comments. And it's like, I know exactly what that was. You could, it could be in the middle of a finale. You could have a hundred cakes going off, but you know when Bold City <laughs> went off, you know? So that's what we love to do. That's a really good point. I never thought of it like that. When you can light off, an entire show mm -hmm. and pick out product, how often can you do that? How many brands, how many fireworks can you say that you can watch in the middle of a show and be like, I know that. And we watch a lot of fireworks, like we yeah. know our fireworks, yeah. but you could, you still can't always pick them out. Right. Yeah. Cool, cool. This has a really unique like three stage effect in it. Yes, it, this one, this is, you know, a lot of stuff here pairs well with other things. This one is nice when you do it by itself because otherwise you sort of lose the subtlety of the effect because mm -hmm. it has that nice little spinner that comes down after yep. those effects break. You have that little silver. Um, and it's a, it's a really kind of a pretty subtle, unique, different thing. I don't, we don't have anything else that does that. So this I is- I think that's the only cake I've ever seen. It's the only cake I've ever seen do that. Yeah. <laughs> so. I would never shoot more than one of these out of the yeah. same position. Or sorry, more than two. Two would be uh, the yeah. most I would ever do. Probably one. I would recommend splitting them up and run it towards the beginning of the show because it's not the loudest break. Right. But I would spread them out and let somebody just enjoy the uniqueness of something like that. Um, you're not going to find that. Hyperspace is really cool because it's almost like 
two it's mines. Very, layered. Very, yeah. very layered. Yeah, because it's shooting them, I think it's like six at a time, but the intention is you've got like a crackling mine, and then you've got some low-level breaks and some mid-level breaks and some upper-level breaks, and so you get this very stacked kind of effect as yeah. it's coming up out of the out of the cake. It's, it fills your sky really nicely. Also, another one that I've never seen like that from somebody else. I've never yeah. seen that. Um, and it reminds us a lot of, or me, I should say, of a... Uh, I like those Japanese shells that break as they go yeah. up, but in a consumer version where we can actually have a right. touch of that. Where right? it's all separate shells, they just are timed out differently. Yep. Yeah. That, that's probably closest we'll ever get in the consumer world of right. that. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, Comet Storm. It, just because we're not talking about every single one doesn't mean they're any less. Uh, they're just some of these are unique or they stick out or whatever, but everything sure. in here is great. And then over here is obviously some of, uh, I mean, things seem to get even bigger on this side, right? And yeah, the no-ops are down over there and the assortments are over here. We got UFO sighted. Have you got UFO sighted? Uh, yes, we got it last year, very late. Um, I placed a second late order and that wound up in it. And uh, actually we did a show, if you guys remember, it was on Cody's channel. We handled it a bunch of stuff in the cul-de-sac and we live streamed it. And when we started, we started with some fountains and this guy buys tons and tons of fireworks every year. So we were a little nervous. I was like, man, I hope we got good stuff for this guy, right? And lighting the fountains and then this, the brakes were cool and unique, but he was expecting a different kind of opener. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me and kind of gave me a little side eye. And then that Gerondola went off and he looks at me and goes, that was cool, what was that? <laughs> so I would definitely pick something like that up. It's oh, very yeah. unique. It's great. And frankly, it was kind of a runaway success for us because I mean, we knew it was cool, but it's, it's a little bit expensive just because the nature of the construction of the item, you know, it's a very unique effect. And we figured that may not be everybody's cup of tea, but man, it's been popular. Good, <laughs> so good. It's been a really, it's been I'm really glad really to hear that because I want to be able to get it again. So oh, I'm glad yeah, you keep we'll, bringing it in. Oh yeah, we'll have more. Awesome. We'll have more. So, yep. Cool. And then actually I want to, this color rush, man. Yes. That is, one of the hardest hitting, most beautiful, colorful cakes you could ever purchase right there. Yeah, that's one of our originals from our very first year of SFX. Well, it's a good one. Yeah, for sure. So, oldie but goodie. Um, and then assortments. I love assortments, man. They get you great bang for your buck, whether you're buying wholesale or retail, it doesn't matter, man. You can just, right there, they're always great product that you guys get. And the cool part is a lot of the assortments like one if by land and two if by sea, you have sitting over there that you can either buy by the case for one or yep. just them individually, you know? Yep, you can. So in like Founder, same way, we've got a whole, you know, practically house sack of them over here. You can buy whichever ones you want, but you can just grab them by the set. Saves you a little money. For sure. Main Street USA, that was another new 350 set that we brought in this past year that's been very popular. It's a okay. great price point. They shoot really well. If you haven't shot those yet, they're very nice. I haven't. Let's we'll have pick them up. Yeah, they all shoot kind of like a rapid four shots at a time so you get four and four and four okay. and four so you get these little bursts you know of, of effects and they're all a little bit different what the effects are for each of them but they're very nice okay I mean, great great i love the labeling on this and uh kind of up in our area huh? Deadly. yeah you know we were looking for like historic main streets around the country yeah you know? and so deadwood made the, the final cut for us for sure have you ever been to Denver? I haven't. I've no. come. It's only yeah. three hours away from us. You'll have to come. We're here. We came down here. You're going to come up there one of these times. We'll make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Immortals over here. That's another one of our original sets when we first launched the brand. We did a four set here for that. And in a lot of these sets, because so much of our business is at wholesale, we wanted to give people the option to buy a case that had multiple items in it so people could still get variety, you know, yep. even on a budget. Uh, so this was one of those that we came out with with that in mind. Uh, we've updated the effects actually since that first run. I think okay. they're a little nicer now, uh, but still a great item. They hit really hard too, very similar to Color Rush yes. in that way. And I'll agree 100%, they're a great item and they hit, they're about like a no -F. Yeah, very similar. Yeah, very nice large bore yep. shots out of that one. For sure. Founders, I mean, about as, again, about as great of a cake as you're going to get for 350 grand. Oh, yes. For the money, it's yes. phenomenal. Agreed. Phenomenal. Literally, uh, price point, two cake, maybe yes. best buy in the store. I would agree with that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's so popular. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, come on, traditional wacky tobacco. That's right. One of the best no apps ever made. And then, you know, getting to your guys' like show line and stuff and your no apps. These are like triple effects in these almost. Yeah, we like to make really unique items. Mm -hmm. We're, we're kind of, that's kind of our thing. We like to make it stand out. So sometimes the effects get a little complicated, but they're things that you probably haven't seen other places, you know? So for the sure. ghost rings and the afterglow pistol, right? All kind of packaged up in this with the really colorful ring, the way it reveals around the yep. effect. 
uh, and then the Color Race with Horsetail Pistol, which was our first show line rack, and it's just huge. Like, it goes so high in the air, the effect is enormous, and that one's always one of our favorites. Majestic Brocades, I mean, it's just Stunning. gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. The way the, the gold, the, the strobe on that one just really stands out, so Agreed. all of those huge shells, nice brakes, great quality you know we we basically want to make it where if we're doing a nine shot rack which is going to be an expensive item it's just going to be the, yep. the nature of the beast uh we want it to be something that really is worth that if, for that effect you for know? sure something you're not getting in something else that we carry and i love that it's a horse tail horse tails are one of my absolute favorite effects you get to know up with a horse tail pretty yeah. tough yeah so yeah and of course mother oil bombs other than uncle sam that's probably one of the better uh Nishiki nine shots you're gonna find. Yeah, I think that's kind of the standard bearer for yep. Nishiki Willow no abs right now. Yeah, for sure. So that's that's where it's at. And then obviously 300 shots by Shogun, just another zipper. It's yeah. a good zipper. It's a very nice zipper. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then this bad boy. I mean, that just looks cool. It is. Yeah. And you don't see a lot of style, fireworks this style at all by any means. You don't, and especially not the way we do it because this. We didn't used to carry this in the store. This was really designed for shows, uh -huh. um, but people asked for it, so we started stocking it out here. But basically, the whole thing goes off in 10 seconds. <laughs> and so, uh, it's but it's a really nice finale punch because it's at that low level with the big V of the Brocade Comets, and then up the middle, you get that aerial effect that kind of just gives you the W, right? Uh, but it yep. does that just as a non-stop barrage. That's another one of those items that when that hits, you know exactly what it is. <laughs> you know, <laughs> There's no mistake in it. No, no, it makes a mark. You know exactly what's going on. For sure. Yeah, you can't top it, though. But like, for giving you that effect, that emphasis yep. at the end of a show, it's what you need, you know? Agreed. It's great. And I know we've said this a few times, but I've maybe seen some companies try this effect, and I have not got to shoot this. I've only seen the video of it. Um, we're going to be changing that very shortly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, should. But it's it's going to be a tough one to find one that does something like this. Yes. On the market. In this same layout of product, this sort of same chassis yep. of the build is available from some other people, but they do it as an effect that lasts like a minute, where yep. like each of these shots is individual and it's so slow and it's boring and that's just not how we do things. <laughs> this, is, this is very unique and yeah. very fast. It's targeting a very different audience, really yeah. frankly. We have a different use case in mind for this than what they're thinking of. They're, they're trying to appeal to the customer that wants a very long duration yep. with a nice high shot count and that's valid. Like We have products that do that same thing, that's just not what we're doing. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, what I would do with something like this that I think would be awesome, if you were shooting a three position show, yes. two of these on the outside, yes. and then run something up the middle, just straight up, don't fan out the middle, you still are gonna have brakes on this, it would look absolutely sick. Yep, absolutely. We've seen a lot of great product videos from uh, customers that they'll shoot their show, so after the 4th of July every year, we yep. do. Uh, we do a photo video contest, right? So people are sending us video of all their shows. And That's we really see cool. a lot of really cool stuff. And we see these used in finales a lot where people have multi-position shows exactly like that. Okay. It looks, it's stunning. It's That's cool. It's always great to see. Cool. And then you guys got four spots, six spots you can check out. So yes. 4th of July, when it's busy in here, you're not going to wait in line for ever, I'm assuming. You got enough checkers around here. We, to, to we keep moving. it rolling really fast. We have this area kind of laid out for one single line that feeds into next available. So okay. it, it moves, it moves. Nice. Now, we've, we've had times where that line gets out into the aisle, but it's still, it cranks through here very Which fast. Which means people want your product. It does, it does. And you know, and the nice thing, the feedback we always like to hear is when somebody gets up and you know, whoever's bringing them out will be like oh man sorry for the wait and they're like no no it wasn't bad at all man you guys are like chick-fil-a in here getting people to the line you know so uh, it's, awesome. been, it's a good experience for people it's a little intimidating when you walk in and you see a line but once you're actually going through it it's really not bad okay so we try to make the experience great for everybody cool so that's the retail stuff yeah. so superior fireworks as a whole you guys have like i said this retail yep. what what else do you guys do yeah so retail this is our one retail location in the country right here outside of jacksonville florida and then we have wholesale, which that side of the business really ships nation, almost nationwide completely. I mean, we have a lot of states that have their own fireworks restrictions, of course, but, yep. but we ship all over the country. And that is end users who are doing big backyard shows that are buying in bulk, 
Uh, sometimes it's people who are reselling, so a lot of particularly our product brands, you'll have people who are starting to carry that in a lot yep. of retail locations around the country as well, so a nice collection of those. So you can find our stuff in other places, it doesn't have to be. Hey, we even have somebody that's carrying your product all the way up in North Dakota. Up in North Dakota, exactly, yep. the Red Dragon Fireworks, so if you're up in that area, those guys carry it, they've been, they've been great friends to us. And um, so we always appreciate it when we see our products in other parts of the country. For sure. And uh, But yeah, but if you want to get it directly from us, of course we can ship it straight from here. And so we have a separate part of our website that handles that. So you are, the rules are a little different. You have to buy it by the case because from a shipping regulatory perspective, we have to ship it by the case. Yep. Uh, we have a thousand dollar minimum, which partly just helps make sure the value proposition is there. Because if you're going to pay a couple hundred dollars in freight shipping, you know, buying one case doesn't make sense. For sure. But, uh, and operationally too, it just kind of helps keep things, and it's wholesale, right? So the, the point yeah. is there's volume. So we yeah. want it, We want to keep that where it's a, a good value for everybody and the pricing makes sense. And, uh, but then, yeah, I mean, there's volume discounts on that. So you can end up getting some really, really good pricing on the wholesale side. For sure, and, and don't let that scare you, the $1,000 minimum. Yeah. It doesn't usually cost that much to ship, a thousand or $1,500 worth of fireworks. You're getting way more bang for your buck when you're buying it wholesale, right? Um, but also, you probably have a neighbor that spends $500 worth of fireworks and you spend $500 worth of fireworks. It's 200 bucks to ship it. You split the shipping, you have $1,100 into it. Oh yeah. So you spend 100 bucks more than your budget, but you can throw stuff like these big assortments, the gun deck assortment, and these other assortments in on that, right? That's one of the cases. So you can still get assortments, you can still get assortment packs like Immortals and Founders, as well as you know rockets by the case you're saving money you know it, if you and another your neighbor were spending 500 bucks a piece at the store and you live in nebraska and you can't come here obviously you are going to be shocked with the amount of product you get for a thousand dollars that you get to split with your neighbor yeah and group buy that's a great way to do it we'll yep. see we'll see just neighborhood like like a whole like hoa you know or a community or a, a cul-de-sac you know getting together doing a block party yep. where everybody just chips in and they buy the whole thing together and they do a big party the whole community gets to enjoy. So it's a great way to do it. For sure. Highly recommend it. Um, if you're in the area, if you're in Florida, this area, anything, stop in. Hospitality, you guys are, you guys are always great. And uh, it's a great place. I mean, state of the art. I mean, really, it's like brand new. I appreciate so, that. Yeah. 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 Tell you what, thanks for having us. Hey, thanks thanks for you. making the trip all the way yeah, down. Yeah, of course. I know it is not a small trip, but no. you know, we're happy to have you anytime. It's worth it. We love to travel, so it works out. And like I said, walking in here, Ben and I were talking like, yeah, you know, I got stopped at a different store that I had ordered from for a very long time. And then here, all within two weeks. And these are places that I've been ordered from for like five years that I've never gotten to go to. And in two yeah. weeks, I get to go to two of my favorite places. So it's really cool. That's awesome. Well, hey, yeah. stop by anytime. We'll, always, we'll always let you in. Okay, <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> we'll talk to you later, man. All right, great. Thanks, guys. Um, what did you think of the store? It was amazing. Well, well put together. Very. Well labeled, everything you can see, labeling is amazing. Um, just all the TVs that are around that help you do it. Uh, it's kind of like, it's set up kind of like, like a store with all the different assortments and Roman candles, firecrackers, it tells you what aisle you're looking for. And definitely come check it out. For sure. Uh, thanks guys for tuning in. Um, let us know if you like this content where we do store walkthroughs. I think we're probably thinking of doing some more of them. Yep. Um, but like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one.